to dump it. It doesn't hurt to do this two or three times, but it definitely, yeah, I hear it. What's going on guys? Donovan with Team Tate Outdoors. <laughs> Living in an RV. It's gotta be the funnest yet most frustrating yet cramped lifestyle I've ever lived. Well, I mean, except for living on a cot in Iraq, that's a little different, but with a family, it's kind of tough. But it's even tougher when you have a clogged gray water tank and I've got to get it fixed. Um, you can see I've got my gray water valve open here and nothing's coming out. And so I've got to go and buy a part from the camping world um, called the Flush King. So we're going to go get that and we're going to see if that will actually fix our problem. Oh, something's on my screen here. Because we can't shower, can't do our dishes and everything's clogged up. And I'll, I'll go inside the trailer here in a second and show you the what I'm talking about with the... Um, with the sensors. So we'll go look at that and then we'll get into trying to get this thing cleaned up. All right, guys. Well, this morning we uh, woke up and um, tried to check our gray water tank and it keeps saying it's full or two thirds. Went outside, the valve is open and it's barely trickling. I think we have a clog of some sort. It's gonna be a long day. Ready to go? You going with daddy? Is Snowy asleep? Oh, she's awake today. Hey, it's too cold for you to go outside, ain't it? Huh? <laughs> All right. Linda's getting on. Got to get the kids enrolled to school for next year. And we got to get this fixed. All right. So, oh yes, by the way, this is when this is happening. We are into the framing process. You guys will probably already have seen that video. And this is still working out really well. We gotta hook this hose up. I'm hoping that that hose is not frozen. I didn't, I haven't ran that hose hoping that water is not frozen in that hose. All right, Linda's gonna start filming now. Here you go, babe. All right, so we got, we got this part, guys, just so you know. This is what we're gonna be using today. So, this is the Flush King Reverse we're gonna to try to use this part right here to fix our problem. Our problem is that our water in our gray tank is not flowing, it's trickling. And so we either have a clog of food or something, or when they drilled them tanks, the, the little pieces that they drilled out, the little hole that they drilled, the piece of plastic is either filling in there and pushed all the way over to the, to the inlet. So because those guys that build these RVs are building them so fast, they don't really care about cleaning out things. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully this will back pressure, push it out, and we'll get our water flowing again so we can do dishes and take showers and stuff. All right, let's hook up this hose first. All right, put some gloves on. It's, it's a little chilly out here. I'm trying to see if there's any water in there. Water, but I don't think it is. I think it's gonna be fine. Well, put it on. If it flows, it flows. If not, it's frozen somewhere. Well, they'll they'll blow out if they're frozen. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> yeah, they will. Nope. Yeah, they will. I believe it. Easy. It's frozen somewhere. Yeah. It's frozen everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel all the ice 
piece breaking up in it. Uh, I hate the winter in this RV. Hurry up! <laughs> it's supposed to be snowing tomorrow too. Uh, well, it's not as bad today actually. I mean, it's it's warming up. The sun is actually it's it's above freezing, but everything is still frozen from last night. This morning, you mean? <laughs> Just I, I guess when the plumbers used the water last, they didn't empty it. So, all right, I'm gonna finish getting this hose all broke up, guys, and we'll get back to once this hose starts flowing. We'll move on to the to the flush in that tank. I just think we're gonna pop Ready? Yeah. All right. Let's see if this is. We got water coming out, but I know it's frozen in there somewhere. Come on. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We'll be right back. Just in case you're wondering if it's cold, I've got these tires here. And, uh, well, they had water in them. So... Yeah. It's a little chilly. <sighs> Maybe the sun will heat the hose up and we can get to doing what we got to do. Okay, so while we're waiting for the hose to thaw out, I'm going to pull this thing apart and we're going to take a look at this thing. Here's the instructions on where you're supposed to hook it up at. Your hose comes out the back behind the valve, hose in front, and it's obviously you can't hook it up no other way because because of the connectors. Um, so, why do we need this? I'm gonna tell you guys why. You see, this would be normally to going to the septic tank, okay? This valve, allowing this water to shut off, causes pressure in here, because once I turn the water on here, this is going to all fill it with water and it's going to go up the gray water hose the, or the pipe under the RV up to where it's going to hook to the tank. And I need pressure in this part, even though there's the tank is full of water and that pressure is coming out, I need a harder pressure pushing in. So if something is clogged, it'll push that clog in and then th that water is going to run down and I can turn the, the hose off. And there's a check valve, which means it closes so no water can go into my hose. Once that happens, I'll open this valve and then all that nasty water, the gray water, will come out of here and go down into our septic like it's supposed to. So we will see if this thing's actually going to work. If it doesn't, then I may have to cut the belly open, take apart the valve for the gray water, and then get in there with a, a snake. So this is our first step to hopefully not having to snake the snake the thing. I think that this will work. Oh, shooting out the ice. You gotta get all the ice out of it. All right, guys. Set it on the concrete for a little while. It thawed it out. Now I gotta see if it's gonna be completely empty it looks like it's good yeah that pressure right there is what's going to blow that that um all right you're making a business okay now let's move on with the rest of this video <laughs> i got my part now let's see here this will screw okay it'll screw right in all right let's see Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to cut away, guys. We're going to do everything. And no, I'm not going to wear any gloves because my hands are already filthy anyways. What's a little bit of gray water? We're going to run this. Disconnect that. This is all we have. A trickle. Our gray tank is open. Our black tank is closed. 
completely shut. I'm going to take this. I'm going to hook it on here. I'm going to take my outlet. I'm going to hook it on here. Now remember, I've only got a third to work with. I can't be running this thing forever. I've only got a third of the tank to um, to be able to empty that. I'm going to put this on. Now this has a valve in it, so I shut that valve. screw that come on now okay this is closed I need pressure I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on over here hopefully this doesn't go spraying everywhere pressure there great I can feel the pressure building up over there here we go guys Get up here close, babe. Watch this. All right, this should fill all the way up first, and the water's gonna go up this tube and all the way up into the into the uh, sink, up into the, the gray water. I hear it. Once that's it's got to fill all this up, all the way. Let's go all the way there, and then it's got to go up this all the way into the to the clog, and hopefully it's going to um, clear it. We'll see what happens here in a minute. There's a lot of water that fills this up. I may do it just a a little while, and then I may close this off and pull this and see if I get drainage. I don't want to go too too much because I'm filling my gray tank up once it starts pushing in. I heard something. That's a dog. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean, I hear something in there. Okay, oh, I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna dump it. It doesn't hurt to do this two or three times, but it definitely, Okay, I hear it. Oh, Look, there it gray, gray there water. The... There's my gray water. Finally. It flushed it, guys. So that's what I was waiting for. I was trying to see that that dark clogness is what what we were trying to get rid of. There, you can tell it's it's. Oh yeah. So now, I have cleared that blockage. You guys can see that. That's our gray water that was flowing. And that was what was open. I haven't messed with that valve at all. You see that? I only rinsed it and I pulled the valve here. And that's how much pressure was built up in that tank. So if you have a clog, this, I would highly recommend this, this Flush King. Like we just got it, it was clogged. My gray water is flowing perfectly fine right now. I'm super happy with that, babe. I think it, that's, I don't know what more, oh, look at that, food, nastiness. You know what we might be able to do too now, is we can use this to rinse exactly. out our gray tank because our gray tank, our black tanks have a, a, a valve where you hook a hose to it and it flushes them. The gray tank does not have a flush valve. You can't really flush this out and we've probably got food particles and everything else in there. So when we dump this, I may just turn this back on and let it backflow in there again and uh, and do this again. High five, babe. Ugh, I'm nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can take a shower now. We can do some dishes. Cause that clog is fixed. <sighs> Man, that was much easier. The toughest thing was getting the ice out of the hose because that was very simple. That worked perfectly. And we didn't, I mean, it's not spilling nowhere. The hose is dumping it all. It's, that worked. Okay, and we were worried that maybe our, our sensors were getting clogged up. We're gonna let this keep going here. Let's go inside and we'll see if we have, um, don't turn it off. We're gonna go see if 
if the sensors now show empty because it's still empty. All right, let's go real quick. Ugh. Well, wash your hands now. <laughs> no, I just wanted to check the sensor. I don't want to go in here with my muddy feet. Okay, let me see that. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so I showed you guys the sensor earlier. Let's, uh, sensor still says, oh, there it goes. It's still one third, so it's, it's emptying still. It was registering two thirds and, and full. Now we're down to one third. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna use hot water and Dawn soap and we're gonna close off the valve and we're gonna fill this thing up with boiling water and Dawn soap and hopefully that's gonna clean off any grease, any oils, anything like that that's stuck on and help us to, um, to clean that all up. All right, I am gonna shut this off. Not sure what we're gonna show you next, but <laughs> We're gonna get to that point. I'm gonna clean all this up and we'll get back inside. All right Guys remember go down there hit the like subscribe button and as always we'll see you on the next video